Oh snap! I leveled up 3,000 times? <laughs> What's up guys, it's your boy Dan OB playing Plus Ultra once again, and today I'm bringing you guys the best leveling up methods that can be done even while AFK. But before we get to the video, I just want to notify you guys that I do a giveaway every two weeks of 450 Robux on both my YouTube and Twitter. All you gotta do to end the giveaway is to subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, and comment on all my videos I've made this week. The winner will be picked randomly for one random video I've recently made. Twitter giveaway info is also in the description, so you guys can get on that, and I'll be getting back with this video. For these leveling methods to work, you'll need one of these three quirks. Naval Laser as a villain, Ice or Hellfire as a hero or villain. If you do not have one of these three, you'll need to keep farming until you get it. You'll also need an auto macro, which is basically like an auto clicker, but it's a, it's a bit more complicated and it has more uses to it. Uh, the one I use is called Tiny Task. You guys, you guys can check that out in the description. But anyways, if you guys need to get money to try and get these quirks, then the fastest way to farm cash is actually to follow Nomo and save or kill the fallen citizens depending on if you're a villain or hero until you get 50,000 gold then go to the hospital to exchange for a new quirk this will reset your level but if you get one of these three quirks it'll definitely be worth it i recommend putting your skill points in speed and mana so you guys can follow no move with ease if you like the quirk you have, you can get Laser, Ice, or Hellfire as the second quirk. On top of the hospital, there's a guy that you can do this with. Talk to him and you can either pay $200,000 in-game cash for a second quirk or 1,000 Robux. Please note, if you use the 200,000 cash, it will reset your level. But if you use the 1,000 Robux, you will keep your current level. First, I will show you how to level AFK with Naval Laser. This is the second best way to farm for level and the fastest way to farm for tyranny. The good thing about this is that you can start leveling from level 0, while the other methods require you to level first. So at the hospital, walk straight out this way until you reach a black tower. Turn right and you will see a white building that is glitched where you can farm all day using Naval Laser. All you need to do is set your macro to keep jumping near the building. You don't want to be too close or inside the building. Stand about this distance away, otherwise your character will get knocked away from the building sooner or later. This game is a bit buggy so as time goes on you'll start lagging. To counteract this you'll actually want to try and leave 6 seconds of ground time as you set your macro for an overnight session. The next way to level up while AFK is using the Ice Quirk. This is the slowest way out of the three, but it does not require you to use a private server because when you use it, you actually are pretty well hidden. For villains, you need to have the second skill to farm with Ice. So you have to level to level 63 manually by hitting towers or clicking on fallen citizens. To farm with Ice, you need to find this black building. I showed how to navigate here earlier in the video. On top of the black building and in the middle of the building, set your macro to constantly use your second skill without your mana depleted. This way, you can farm while staying hidden and hopefully no one finds you and kills you. For heroes, you need the third skill unlocked at level 126 and a private server. All you do is go up to an NPC and keep using your skill. Because the third move doesn't move the NPC, you can farm AFK. The last but fastest way to level is with the Quirk Health Flame. You can do this with Hero as well. First off, there are two skills that you can use to level AFK. The fastest way is with the second skill, but we can still level decently fast while AFK with the first skill. But it's slower than the other methods. You need to be level 190 for the first skill and level 533 for the second skill. Once you get the first skill, it depends on whether you're a villain or a hero. If you're a villain, go to a building that never falls. I mentioned where they were earlier in the video. And all you do is set your macro to keep using your first ability. If you are a hero, set it to constantly hit one of the NPCs until you get the second skill. Once you get the second skill, you can level hitting the NPCs too. These NPCs get bugged after you use the skill on them for a while, so you can't AFK farm with other quirks decently because they keep moving after they get hit. With using the second ability, even if the NPC does move, the skill has a large AoE, so it will still hit. Some of you guys may be trying these ways out, but notice that you're leveling really slow. Well, that's because in the game, there's a glitch where your level is stuck at getting very little XP until you level up again or reset your game. However, with the Hellfire second skill and a few glitch NPCs, we can constantly level without the glitch slowing us down. Here's how you do it. You can set your macro to constantly reset your game after 10 or so hits. Half the spawn points already have NPCs near it. The other half, you can just get glitch NPCs near. So whenever you reset, you'll always spawn near an NPC. This way you'll level faster because you won't be getting the XP glitch while you're AFK. To make an NPC glitch, just keep hitting it with the skill and then eventually it'll become glitch. And basically you'll know when it's glitch because the HP bar will always be at zero. Then you can use the skill to move the NPC to your desired location. Do this for all spawn points and you'll always spawn near an NPC. So this will only work on private servers. But private servers only cost 100 Robux, so I recommend you to buy one. And to start this recording, what you want to do is you want to turn on your quirk. This is very important. You need to turn it on. Use your ability. 
and then right after you're done using your ability you have to turn it off uh, the reason you turn it off is because you got to compensate for the lag that happens in the game if you keep it on. And what you want to do after that is you want to repeat it a couple of times and then after you've done that you want to reset your character and then end the recording right there to repeat it over again. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button and click that bell notification to get the latest updates on Plus Ultra. And also comment below any questions that you guys have. I will try to get to them and answer them. I also have a giveaway on my Twitter. Just follow my Twitter to find out how to enter. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.